So we start with a site health check. So this is the first step. And the sort of things that we typically find here is, and this is surprising how many times you'll find this, is that the site is actually blocking Google from indexing them. Um, and the common way this happens is a site either changes to WordPress or they do an upgrade to, uh, to a new version of the site. The web developer moves, does all the development on another staging server and then moves it across to the live site and they forget to switch off privacy. And so they're left with, uh, you know, disallow star in robots.txt uh, and Google is basically told, please don't, please don't index this site, go away. Other things that we'll see is uh, performance issues or other crawl issues, you know, pages not being uh, indexed or crawled and the site just generally being slow. And because this is also where we take a quick scan of Google Webmaster Tools, we'll often find also uh, broken internal links uh, or missing content. And the common cause of this is if somebody has uh, moved, they've, they've built a new site and put it on the domain, or they've perhaps moved uh, their domain. But if they've uh, redesigned their website, and it's a web design company that doesn't really know SEO, um, which is about 99.95% of them in my experience, um, then they won't have redirected the old pages. So they'll, they'll just leave, you know, all these links coming into old pages, they're gone now. But your new site looks beautiful. So, um, so that's the sort of thing we'll find, and also penalties. I mean, if, there's, if a site's been hit with a penalty, this is often where we'll see it because we're looking at um, analytics and webmaster tools. So how we do this, this is just to give you a flavour for the sort of the way that the, the audit works. We're working down the spreadsheet. We're going to say, okay, check. It says check Google. We go to Google. We check it. Is the site indexed? We run, you know, site, um, whatever the site is in Google. Does it show up? Okay, that, that's the sort of level of test that we're looking at. Is the home page the first result? So we want to make sure that we're not having issues with. If the home page is not the, the first result, we've probably got some architectural issues or possibly um, a penalty. And then we also search for the brand name. So in this case, uh, Creative Smiles, I'll talk about them in a sec. Uh, we'd search for Creative Smiles as the brand. Do they come up first? The only time that this doesn't work is if they have literally got, um, if their brand is uh, pretty much a, a generic term, blue widget. You know, it's the, the widget company and there's just lots of them out there. They might not then come up first. Uh, again, we, we want to make sure that their homepage is the first result. And then we go in and check Webmaster Tools for errors. You know, have we got messages from Google about Google not accessing the site or unnatural links? You know, is there broken links? Are we getting, are there pages that are not found that are giving back the wrong response code? Google tells you a lot of stuff. The audit is just about checking it, recording it. It's not about solving the problem or, or really drilling into it super deeply. We just want to find what all the problems are. Then we might turn that later into an action that we have to implement. When we're looking at analytics, uh, like, we, like I talked about earlier, filter on the organic non-brand traffic, look for the ob obvious traffic. So we want to look for organic non-brand traffic. Take out the, the customer's brand and look for the obvious traffic drops. That way we can see it nice and clearly. Uh, end of Feb, I think there's another drop about there. Um, so they've got some problems there. Could be Panda or Penguin related. We'd go and check the dates in SEO Moz. So we just say, yep, probably been affected by Panda or Penguin or whatever, just note it and identify the top keywords that have been affected, just so that we know, you know what's, what's the general problem that's, um, that's, that's hit the site, but we don't want to get distracted. So I think this note is really for me. I'm the sort of person that I, I, I see a problem and I, it's very easy for me to just go, ooh, I wonder how you'd solve that. Oh, look, I'm, you know, so this actually, the spreadsheet I find very helpful because it just, it keeps me on, on task.